welcome to a new session in Hort Americas TV. My name is Carla Garcia. I am Hort Americas Technical Service. And today we will speak about microgreens. So microgreens can be a good option when selecting a product to start a small business, or if you are already in the business, you can expand your current market. Well, why? Uh, microgreens are easy to grow. Uh, obviously, we need to take care about different environmental parameters as any other crop. But I think the difference is that microgreens have a very uh, short cycle. Uh, therefore, you can quickly learn and improve your technique to become a really good microgreens producer. Also, microgreens can be grown in um, vertical farming systems. They can go from a very basic installation to a more sophisticated installation. So when we use uh, artificial lighting and a vertical farming system for microgreens production, uh, you can have higher yield in a small area. So you can optimize the production per area. Uh, also, microgreens, they have a very nice price in the market. Price in the market. So uh, once you find a market, microgreens can become a really good, a really good business. Uh, this product is uh, very valuable for uh, customers interested in improving diet. Uh, this is because uh, microgreens, they can have a really high uh, nutrition content. So uh, you can have a market in uh, this kind of customer. And also microgreens, there are uh, distinguished product used by chefs or restaurants. So you have different, uh, a different market where uh, you can sell this kind of product. But uh, what exactly are microgreens? So microgreens are seedlings of vegetables and herbs. Uh, they are not sprouts. Uh, a lot of people usually confound the sprouts with microgreens. Uh, microgreens are harvested uh, just after the cotyledons are fully developed. Uh, and uh, the way we produce the sprouts is kind of different from uh, microgreens. Uh, microgreens, they are grown under the, under the presence of light, making possible to develop a stem and cotyledons. Uh, usually in the sprouts, we have uh, roots and a very small leaves. So the difference in the way we produce the product that make the difference in the nutritious content and also the quality of the product. So microgreens can be grown easy in uh, vertical farming systems. Uh, in Hort Americas, we offer the Hort Americas Grow Rack, uh, which is the one that I'm showing here in this slide. Um, this include all the plumbing system that you need to irrigate your trays uh, in uh, an ebb and flow or sub irrigation system. Uh, this system also includes the reservoir, pumps, uh, also the lamps, which are very important. So it's providing you almost all the essential needs that you need to start the production. So as I mentioned, uh, the grow rack includes lamps. So uh, for growing your micro microgreens, uh, you really need to uh, know how to select the lamps for your product. Uh, the lamps that we use in our grow rack, these are not just regular lamps. Uh, after years of research, current by uh, GE developed special lamps for vertical farming. So uh, these lamps, they have a really nice high quality. The name of the lamps is uh, GE Arise Life. And we offer different options on light colors uh, to provide the best lighting for your micro range production. Uh, by applying artificial lighting focused on uh, blue and red light colors, uh, the microgreens quality can be significantly improved. Uh, previous research and also my own testimony, I have experience as a microgreen grower, so I can corroborate that the use of, of high quality on lighting uh, can improve, uh, for example, can accelerate the speed of growth of the product, can also improve the color and texture, uh, this is something that you can really, really notice when you grow plants uh, under regular LEDs, uh, like white LEDs, and the ones with uh, red and blue color. Uh, you can also enhance the nutrition content and improve the morphology of your product. So here is some evidence reported of, uh, of how the use of blue light can increase leaf area 
also reduce the nitrate content, which is not good for us, and improve the nutrition content, which is something really important in microgreens. So blue light alone tend to make the plants a little bit compact. Uh, so we recommend to use light, uh, including also red, uh, red color. So we, we know that plants, they use a lot of the red light for photosynthesis. And uh, so if you use uh, blue and red light, you will keep your plant like very nutritious, uh, good morphology and uh, with great quality. Morphology is something also very important uh, for harvesting the product. So we usually cut uh, microgreens just above of the substrate. So uh, the stem length is something really important in quality so you can, you can harvest your product more easier. So if you ask me, I will always recommend to invest in a good lamp with high uh, light quality uh, rather than use, use uh, the regular white LEDs. You can really, really notice this, the difference. So in case you're interested in growing microgreens, uh, here are most of the requirements you should know and follow in order to keep your plants growing healthy. Um, well, first, uh, microgreens, they don't like warm temperatures. So uh, you will need to keep uh, your room temperature between 18 or uh, 22 degrees Celsius. Uh, also, humidity is something very important because high humidity levels can trigger uh, the growth of fungi. Uh, this is something common in microgreens. This is usually uh, the most common problem. So let's try to keep a relative humidity between 50 and 60 percent. So also uh, microgreens, uh, they don't have a strong demand for light. So uh, in comparison to other crops. Um, so let's try to keep the, L the DLI between, uh, it could be 10 or 12. I will recommend more going uh, for 12. Um, uh, this way you will have enough light for your plants and they will grow quickly. And uh, you can also uh, boost the growth of your microgreens by applying a leafy greens nutrient recipe. Uh, just try to keep the pH between 6 and 7, uh, it can be a little bit lower too. And uh, the EC uh, usually for microgreens is pretty low. So by applying all these conditions, you will easily keep your plant growing healthy and you will get beautiful microgreens. So let's just speak about another important product that you need for microgreens production. Uh, where do you supposed to grow microgreens? Uh, so we usually recommend to use substrates uh, to, grow, uh, to grow your micro microgreens more healthy. Uh, in Horta Americas, we can offer different kind of substrates. The use of fiber mats uh, like a biostrate, a bag bed of, of bamboo, and also grodan, which are the ones from the pictures, um, they can uh, provide a very nice condition and also help you to get great quality in the product. Something very important is also uh, you need to think about uh, the packaging that you will use because uh, the use of fiber mats uh, that will help you to, uh, to sell the product uh, alive. So that's, that is very nice. You can, you can, um, you can uh, set uh, your product inside of a package using the substrate and uh, usually the fiber mats, they look really nice. And obviously, there's also another options like coconut core or peat moss. Um, they also show good results. They're, they are not as clean as the, as the fiber mats. Uh, so if you can invest in a good quality substrate, I guarantee you will get better results. If you are interested in applying nutrient solution on your microgreens, I strongly recommend to go for a good leafy greens formula. In Horta Americas, we offer the Horta Americas fertilizer that is especially designed for leafy greens. So this is a good option for microgreens. And remember always to keep uh, your substrate uh, with moist uh, for healthy growth and induce germination by covering your trays to create high humidity conditions to improve uh, uniform germination, which is very important to get a nice final product. 
You can learn uh, more from our Orta America's blog. Uh, there you will find um, we have a special article to grow microgreens stay by a step by a step uh, in our Horta America's grow rack. So this is all for today. Um, I, I hope you really find this information useful and please let us know in the comment section which other topics uh, can also be interested to you. So remember my name is Carla Garcia, I am Horto America's technical service and I will be happy to answer and assist you with any questions here in my, here's my email. So see you soon in our next Horto America's TV video.